What's the motherfucking deal, man? Welcome to The Den. I'm glad you could join me this evening. I am your host, Ed Honcho. Uh, make sure you tune in live tonight, 10 p.m. Central to midnight. We go live every night. doesn't matter what night you see this, what day you see this. We go live every night. You can call in with your thoughts on whatever the topic of the day is on The Den line. You can talk live to The Den folk uh, and your host, Ed Honcho. Uh, it is an honor and a privilege to get to chop it up with you today. Um, <clears throat> so I thank you for watching. But let's get into this, you know... Oh man, this this story makes me makes me feel like that 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 Thanos. But if you ain't seen Endgame, it's way too late. Uh, you couldn't live with your failure. And what did that do? Bring you back to me. Uh, yeah, I'm joking around. But Jesse, man, Jesse Smollett back in the news again. And this case is kind of interesting because I don't know how much of it is about Jesse, how much of it is about Kim Fox, but uh, I think it ties into both. I don't know how Double Jeopardy will work out in this situation. But let's just kind of get right into it, man. No time to waste. And let's just discuss it. Um, Jesse Smullett, uh, assault case unsealed, ex-Empire star, unlikely to appeal. So, you know, Jesse had a situation earlier this year with the Nigerians. And it seemed like it was so long ago. But it, it just came to an abrupt conclusion, it seemed like, um, when the supposedly recused uh, DA, um, I'm sorry, not DA, state's attorney, uh, Kim Fox had recused herself from the case, but yet she was all in. And you look at the situation with, um, kind of what was his name? Jeff Sessions, right? When he recused himself from the, the Trump situation. And there was no no hearing of anything of Jeff having to do with that. But in this situation, Kim's name was all up and through the situation. She was making phone calls, she was pulling strings, and all of a sudden, Jesse's trial was just over with. Um, all of a sudden, it was just, it was no more. He did some community service and some other things, and it was over and said, and uh, uh, they said some type of diversion program, which is a, a situation they use to try to keep you from, you know, having to see jail time. And, you know, they, they have different types of diversion programs. But anyway, you know, and it just seemed uneventful, seemed unjust, right? After everything that was going on with it, uh, a lot of information that was immediately sealed, and usually things like that don't happen. Well, guess what? Uh, let's unwrap that package. Let's unbox this case. <laughs> you know, YouTubers like to do the unboxing. Well, um, some information will be coming out very soon today. Uh, let's just kind of get to the article, and then I'll kind of speak on it before we go into it. So, just some other case: assault case unsealed, ex Empire star unlikely to appeal. Uh, Chicago judge Thursday unsealed documents connected to the Empire actor Jesse Smollett's arrest earlier this year of criminal charges, although Smollett got out of the 16-count indictment in late March for allegedly faking a January 29th racial and homophobic attack. Uh, Stephen Wilkins, I'm going to read word for word. We'll just kind of briefly get the, the synopsis. Uh, judge Watson, they vehemently disagreed with the contention of the actor and his lawyers that it was necessary to keep the paperwork out of the public eye for privacy reasons. Smollett voluntarily appeared on national television speaking about the incident in detail, uh, said the Cook County Court judge. Um, after media organizations requested the case be made available to the public. Uh, after the dismissal, he voluntarily stood in front of cameras from numerous news organizations. The courthouse lobby spoke about the case. So immediately after getting off, he was so smug about it. He was just so, and this is the thing that bothered me through the whole case. He was just so arrogant about the way that he carried himself. And, and to me, you know, this court of public, uh, uh, of, uh, public opinion is what people try to to finesse first before ever going to court. I think that has a big say so and you know, everything's connected. You know, with jurors now it's probably hard to find jurors who haven't heard about particular cases because everybody knows everything these days. And to get off in the manner that he did and then sit there and say he was still innocent and do all these things, but yet you forfeited your bond, you did community service. If an innocent person wouldn't do any of these things. And so it was just the arrogance in which he carried himself. Uh, I know the Nigerian brothers are still supposed to be suing him, a lot of the things are going on, but let's let's kinda go a little bit further in this story, not before I dive deeper into my thoughts, I guess. Um, these are not the actions of a person seeking to maintain his privacy or simply be let alone. <clears throat> uh, judge pulled away the protection of a 2018 Illinois law that allows individuals to have their cases taken on public good if not found, if found not guilty or claims to drop. Um, Smart's lawyer Brian Watson on Thursday told local media he had to check with the actor before a decision was made whether to appeal the ruling. Representatives from Smollett did not reply to a request for comment from deadline. Appeal is unlikely, I hear from sources. Reason, Smollett's team now actually wants documents on the case to go public in hopes that the public's generally condemning opinion of the actor will change once people look at the full picture. For executives won't say it publicly, but Smollett's legal troubles were a great part of the reason there are no plans for the actor to return for the sixth and final season of Empire in the fall. Uh, June 3rd, so basically, you know, this whole situation, you know, Empire is getting canceled. I think, I wonder how many people really stopped fucking with Empire because of the whole Jesse case and just everything tied around it because the ratings were down. 
and apparently it's going to be canceled or it's going to be the last season. I'm, I'm not really sure. I was like, say again, I've never seen it and have no plans of watching it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, no plans for the action, no plans for me. Uh, June 3rd, pencil date for Unseen of the Documents. So that'll be in a few days here, about a week or so. Um, a little over a week. The ruling moves everything back again to the office of the Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox, who will determine exactly how the documents like police files and more will be doled out. Fox controversy recused herself from the McClellan case because of a connection with a member of the actor's family, yet on March 29th, Chicago Tribune op-ed, she declares she wants the class for a felony case unsealed in the interest of full transparency. Repeating what the prosecutor from her office said on the matter in late March, Fox stated that because Jesse Smollett's case was dropped, for expediency's sake, after some credit for community service and forfeiting a $10,000 bond, he has not been exonerated. He has not been found innocent. Interesting, because that's the opposite of what he was saying uh, immediately after that situation. And so, again, you know, delusions of grandeur, maybe he feels a certain way. I can't wait to see what happens. So, you know, I did several videos on this a while back while the case was going on. Uh, we'll see, you know, whether if I was right or wrong or, you know, a lot of people who may have commented and felt a certain way about this case, I think the general consensus was pretty much the same if, if who was right, who was wrong about this. Um, some others facing a potentially near $400,000 lawsuit from the city of Chicago. Uh, outraged publicly as Smollett's case being dropped. Mayor Rahm Emanuel sent, uh, spent part of the last few weeks of his reign going after the performer to pay for the Chicago PD overtime and more that it cost to investigate Smollett's initial claim that he had been a victim of what was called a hate crime. No word of newly minted Mayor uh, Lori Lightfoot plans to continue that legal strategy, but she hasn't hit the brakes yet. Um, and as most lawyers were sued for defamation in federal court last month by the brothers Ola and Abel Osendario, who Chicago police said were paid by the action plan to coordinate the alleged fake assault on that cold Chicago early morning back in January. So, <clears throat> it's going to be interesting. This, I mean, this is an unexpected update. Uh, I can't wait, apparently, since they're saying no appeal is going to happen. You know, well, why didn't they want that documentation let go initially if it was such a big deal if there was no nothing to hide, right? Why didn't they want to go to court and try it if, if there was nothing to hide? Again, <clears throat> I think there's something excuse me, extremely sketchy about all of this. Kim Fox, uh, I think that this is going to, because the, the, the lady, I can't remember her name, came out. I'll put the link in the description of the video so you can check that. Who came out and kind of basically said that, you know, this is more of a looking at Kim and see what did she do? Why did she handle this the way that she did? You know, what was going on in the background? Allegedly recusing yourself because you had your hands all over this case. I don't think there will be any double jeopardy, so I don't think that's why they're really uh, adamant about trying to prevent this from happening. I mean, it is what it is. He's, he's done what he's had to do in the, uh, the legal system in Chicago. I think this is going to be more of a declaration on Kim Fox and the way she's handled things. So we'll see ultimately what happens with her and her situation. Um, but I do believe that there was some, 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 some sketchy shit going on. I mean, we know Chicago is notorious for a lot of sketchy things. Uh, I guess not only in the legal system, but in the streets. But hey, that's none of my business. Um, I want to know what you guys think, man. I want to know. Hit that comment section below. What do you guys think is going to ultimately be the outcome of this? Do you think they were going to discover something that we didn't pretty much already assume? Because so much information was put out there. Um, do you think this makes him look foolish in the long run if it comes out that he was lying, that they did have enough evidence to prove that he was not innocent? Because even the person who's supposed to have had his back, Kim Fox, said he wasn't innocent. They just had the information sealed. And now with this being um, reopened and becoming public information, it's going to be interesting to see how people respond. Because there were so many people who said, well, I'm not going to. I'm not going to believe it until Jesse says so. Yeah, who, 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 who's guilty and admits to their guilt? I mean, nobody does that, right? No, nobody. So, you know, you put yourself in a position where you just choose not to believe when all the the facts are stacked against you. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Uh, again, this case is so crazy. Just this whole involvement in the situation is so crazy because of the way things happen. Um, I wonder if he gets an endorsement from Subway. Probably not. But with that being said, again, live every night, 10 p.m. Central Time, Want to know your thoughts? Hey, drop them in the comment section below. This is going to be very intriguing to see how this all plays out. I thank you for tuning in. I thank you for watching. With that being said, hey, it's your boy Ed Honcho, your host Ed Honcho. Again, I'm grateful for your time and you take the time to watch this video. If you got all the way through it, hey, y'all be cool like y'all be cool. Uh, I'll catch y'all next time. I'm out.